Good morning. This morning I'm going to just go through um, the question 2.1 of the COS 1511 October November 2015 exam paper. As you can see there the question says suppose the declaration and nested if statements below occur in a C++ program and values are assigned to the variables before the if statements are executed. Suppose Tabu was born in SA in 1978 and is right-handed. If these values are assigned to the relevant variables, what will the output be? So as you can see, we've got a data type um, of string uh, with a variable name of born in, okay? Then a variable named year of data type int, and then another um, variable name of right handed, which is of data type bool, which is true or false. Okay, so what they've done is they've said here that if the right handed is true, okay, then you must go through to the next code. Then the next line says, if the year is greater than or equal to 1980, then the person will be in group D. Else, if the born in is not equal to SA, then uh, the group must be group C. Else, the option must be group A. And, if right-handed is false, then it will ignore the rest of that statement and go straight through to the else statement which says if born in equals SA then outputs group B and so if you look I've copied the code here and I've what I've done is I've uh, done my declaration of variables and over here I've done the assignment according to what they've specified. As you can see, Tabu was born in SA, okay, and he was born in 1978, and he is actually in fact right-handed. So I mark the right-handed as true, and if I execute that code, it comes out as group A. And why it comes out with group A is because, as mentioned, if the right-handed is true, which it is, then it must check the next if statement. If the year is greater than or equal to 1980, which it isn't, because it's less than, so it's 1978. So then it goes to that else statement. And then the else statement says, else if he were the born in, is not equal to SA, which it clearly is SA, so it has, it's, it is a SA, so it ignores this output and it goes straight to the else and it puts out group A. And then that's how it uh, works and it's very similar to how they want you to trace things in the variable diagrams. It's basically working out through the same steps. I hope this video is helpful and yeah, may you enjoy working through this exam paper. Goodbye.